Wait, this one's wearing a little shirt though. What is <laughs> It's this world's best babysitter. And he's got <laughs> and he's got two little baby trolls next to him. Thanks to Amaze for sponsoring this video. Stay tuned for how you can literally win a tiny house. Okay, let's get started. Well, hello there and welcome to my home. And you'll have to excuse me, it's a bit of a mess because I just moved in. And by just, I mean about two months ago and I have no excuses for why literally everything I own is still in boxes. They're mostly sort of shoved into this little living room here. In fact, it's become quite the popular hangout spot for me. Well, no excuses of course, besides not really caring about anything because when the whole world is shut down and you can't see anyone or go anywhere, or do anything, then what's the point of trying? Huzzah! Oh my god, are you okay? I have no idea, I don't know anymore. But I know that I'm trying my best and I'm keeping a smile on my face. See? Oh wow, yeah, no, that looks really natural. Thanks! Okay, well do you want to tone down all the existential sadness and tell people what you're doing today? Oh, right, yes, sure. This is going to be very fun, despite the world being... We're gonna try to have some fun in here today. You see, today you're trapped in here with me, and since life is really weird for everyone right now, including you, I assume, me for sure, you and I are gonna do what we can, which is make the most of it. And fair warning before we begin, it's gonna get weird, so leave now if you want to, but also 100% don't, because if you left, I would cry. And just so you know, I used to be a baby. So technically you'd be making a baby cry, and do you really want that on your conscience? I didn't think so. So today we're going to be fulfilling a childhood dream of mine, and perhaps yours, depending on either A, when you were born, or B, how much you romanticized the 90s and the early 2000s. Or perhaps both, I don't know your life. Today we are going to be assembling all the items that we need in order to create the coolest room on the whole planet Earth, AKA my 90s childhood dream room that I never got, but I will get today. So welcome. Aesthetic title card. Look, I, what would I learn? You gotta love what you got. One more than they iron, picking the locks. Only one. Yeah, what you're gonna see here is the journey to the castle now. You see, before I was the very awkward, full-grown man that you see before you now, I was somehow an even more awkward child. And don't get me wrong, I loved myself then and now, generally speaking. But there is no denying that I was the type of kid that spent all of his lunches in the library, avoiding all of the other kids, while drawing photos of anime characters in my little 2002 Spider-Man notebook, or drawing photos of the Titanic as it was sinking, which is something that I did a lot as a kid, for some reason. I'm sure some psychologists would have a blast unpacking that, but I don't want to go there. <laughs> well, keep it fun. Anyways, I'd draw pictures of anime characters or the Titanic sinking, and sometimes if I was feeling feisty, I'd combine the two to some pretty interesting results. You see, drawing in the library was always the safer option for me, because I was always the new kid at every school that I went to, and I went to a lot of different schools as a kid. Thanks, Mom and Dad. What a ride. That was so many new schools and situations for my adolescent mind to have to quickly adapt to. Very tight. Hey, say, as a fun exercise, if you'd like to get a crystal clear idea of what I was like as a kid, I'll give you an easy shot. Shortcut. Imagine Ben, aka the new kid from the 2017 film It, Clarence from the animated show Clarence, and then some variant of an earthworm-like species that rarely saw the sun, and then add glasses. <laughs> then you'd have me as a kid. Rebel soul child got a fist ball. I'm a respawn of ancestors, and I'm blessed. Huh? Anyways, as a kid, I did a lot of daydreaming all of the time because I was always very uncertain about what was happening in the real world. In fact, I think I was so overwhelmed by the real world that at some point I just decided that the world that I built in my head while daydreaming was much more valuable and relatable to me and that I just live in that world all of the time, including still. What I'm getting at here is that all the daydreaming that I did and still do resulted in having a lot of very specific dreams and ambitions, some of which I've had the pleasure of bringing to life with you right here on this channel, like building and consuming an edible wall made of Doritos, going to Japan to stay in a capsule hood, Hotel, living in a tiny house, doing whatever this is. Uh. <laughs> and today, you guessed it, we're gonna live out another one of my very specific dreams. Today, we're gonna take every beautiful and very cool long lost item from the 90s of my childhood. Things that I had, but mostly things that I never had and really wanted and still want. And with those items, we're gonna build the dream room that if my childhood mind would have seen, it would have exploded with joy. And as an adult, I will still explode with joy, which is why I wanna bring it to life with you. Now, to understand what we're going for with my 90s dream room, it's way more important to understand
understand what we're not going for. And what we are not going for is a simple aesthetic. I don't want this room to just look cute and vibe like the 90s. No, I'm not talking about 90s solo cup posters on the wall or urban outfitters decor. None of that. I want to build a room that has not just the look of the 90s, but the soul of the 90s. With not one single item being out of its time. I want this room to be like, if you were to walk into that room, you would feel like you had just gone into a time machine. You would open your eyes and look around and go, what am I in 1998? Now, let me bring it down here for a second and tell you why this is important to me. You see, I want to create a room full of pure, wholesome, sweet escapism. I want to create a beautiful place to flee the early 2020s and escape to the late 1990s. An analog room completely out of its time with not one smartphone screen or Wi-Fi capable device. Just a meditative, isolated island of a room. A land full of retro tech, books, magazines, iconic 90s movies on VHS, of course. Albums on CDs, throwback video game consoles, one of those beautiful, thick-ass old CRT TVs. And, of course, every iconic 90s toy and snack I can ever remember loving or wanting. Now... As for where we're gonna build this room, the blank canvas that we are going to be working with is my guest room, which currently looks like this. There's, it's, it's so sad. <laughs> it's a very pathetic room. That's some remnants of some bed yogurt, which is when I eat yogurt at night in bed. So two socks, actually. Oh, and then right there, and I promise I'm not trying to brag, but that's my new pair of scissors. Now, I get it, the room is, <laughs> it's pathetic. We're, but we're gonna change that, okay? Together. And I know that a lot of people with guest rooms prioritize things like sheets, or, get or bath towels. But I am more concerned with my future guest having the option to play Mortal Kombat on an arcade machine, eat some airheads, or maybe even drink out of a Capri Sun fountain. I don't know, we'll see what happens. And the thing about a guest room, which I have never had before, I've always lived in very tiny places, and for the first time in my adult life, I have a guest room. And for whatever reason, when I was a kid, this is so weird and specific, but when I was a kid, I always dreamed of having a guest room that was like its own contained universe. Like everything would change. You know, house is relatively normal, then you go into the guest room and it's like entering, you know, uh, you're, you're suddenly in like a Victorian manor from like the 1700s or something. Like completely detail accurate, everything. And it's haunted as hell. One of my favorites was uh, like the idea of a morgue theme and it would be complete with like the still table, right? And then like with my guest, I would have a little, little toe tag with their name on it to make them feel so welcome. Another very popular one uh, was a like a fallout shelter, like a post-apocalyptic fallout shelter shelter, uh, complete with like a vault door and everything. Anyways, I don't have the skills or the budget to do such a thing, but who knows what the future brings. Maybe that could change someday and then I'll do that. But as for now, transforming my sad guest room into a meditative 90s oasis for both myself and my future guests is going to be a great place to start. Anyways, that's my origin story for wanting to create this room. But as for getting started actually creating this room, I think a good place to start to get inspiration would be to sort of reimmerse myself back in my childhood with sacred items from my own past. And it just so happens that I have an entire trunk full of just such items right here in Los Angeles. That red trunk and the contents of it are basically my entire childhood. And naturally, it's been baking outside in the sun, completely exposed to all elements because I used to live in a very, very, very tiny house and I literally did not have any place to put it inside. So it sits outside to this very day, alone, pro very dirty, and probably completely full of spiders. So to understand just who I was in the 90s and very early 2000s, and to maybe get a couple key items for our room, we must travel now back to a place that you might know very well, if you watch this channel. A place that I used to live, my former tiny house. Let's go. Welcome to my former tiny home. Do you think American Horror Story could literally sue you for that title card that you just did? I don't know, probably. Wanna see me do something silly? No, but you're gonna do it anyways, huh? I bet you, oh, there it is. Was that sick? It was not. All right. <laughs> Anyways, if for whatever reason you're new to my channel, then this is where I used to live. I used to live here for, I don't know, years? A couple, I don't know time. And as for why I still have access to my former tiny house is because my friend Andrew Swicky and I run our podcast out of here called Sweet Boys. That, it's the, it doesn't look that impressive back there, but it, it looks nice. It looks nicer on camera. Um, shout out Sweet Boys listeners. <laughs> and Sweet Boys is our weekly podcast. We have a great time over there. The comments have described it as dizzyingly chaotic, but also weirdly low-key relaxing. So that's something. We upload every Wednesdays for now. I'll link it at the end of this video if you want to check it out. Now, oh my god, 
That was very scary. The camera almost fell the, the hell over. <laughs> I'm good though, and I've got it, and I'm in control. Everything's going great for me over here. <laughs> right, getting back on track. Focusing here, which is something that I am very capable of doing if I put my, my if I put my mind to it. Now, before we retrieve the probably spider-filled, terrifying red trunk of my childhood from outside, let me first tell you, and this is very exciting, that if you like the idea of owning a tiny home for yourself, then boy, are you in luck. Because the people over at Omaze, who amazingly wanted to sponsor this video, they wanted me to take a minute to tell you how you can potentially become the owner of an incredible tiny home worth up to $150,000 all while supporting an incredible cause. That's right, the good people over at Omaze are giving you a chance to win a home, a fully customizable tiny home built by the company Tiny Heirloom. And I mean fully customizable tiny home of your dreams. You could choose your architectural style, uh, luxury finishes, so many things. In fact, the winner of this can get a personalized design consultation with the team over at Tiny Heirloom in order to make your dream tiny house. Which, that is so comically up my alley. If I could design my own tiny dream home, let's just say it would have so many luxuries that this one doesn't, like hot water and, um, oh my god, one of those things that like the thing comes off and you can actually do the dishes better. I bet they can do that. <laughs> I don't have that here. So not only is that incredible, but this is also so great because it supports a great cause, which is a charity called Girls Build. And Girls Build is a nonprofit organization based out of Portland, Oregon that inspires curiosity and confidence in girls through the world of building. Girls Build teaches girls ages 8 through 14 years old the basics of carpentry, plumbing, roofing, painting, auto and bike mechanics, and more. And your donations through Omaze for this tiny home situation can help to fund summer camp and class scholarships, critical staff positions, and incredibly free classes for kids in foster care. So if you love the idea of potentially winning an absolutely beautiful tiny home and supporting Girls Build, then you can go to amaze.com slash Garrett, just like this, also it's in the description, to enter for your chance to win. And of course, every donation supports Girls Build, which is very good, because kids having skills is awesome, which very naturally brings me around to where I'm at in this video, which is remembering a kid who had and has very little to no skills. His name was Garrett. It's Garrett. I'm, it's me. Now let's go get his big, weird, ancient, old, weathered, spider-filled, probably trunk from outside and go through some items from his childhood in order to get some inspiration for our dream 90s room right now. Oh my god, I need oxygen and water. Oxygen! Water! <laughs> and trunk, which is which is under all, all that old, all, which is under all that shit. <laughs> 90s trunk of my childhood. It's the 90s trunk of Garrett's childhood, and it means the world to him. Even though he let it bake in the sun and the rain, and everything in it's probably just probably completely destroyed, and also a home to a bunch of fucking scary spiders. Yeah. Oh, no. Jesus, how heavy is it? I don't know. It's like. 12 pounds. Oh my god. You need to lift weights. I have some weights, but they're outside and just like this box There might be spiders on them and I don't want to reach for them because every time I think about it I get scared. Oh wow. Yeah, that's a good excuse. I know. It's not that heavy. I can handle it. Okay <sighs> I've done it Ali, oop. Eat your heart out, Zach King. Vine, uh, the magician. Eat your heart out, corridor crew special effects. Ch channels, how do you do that? <laughs> Alright, this actually smells very bad. Alright, let's see what we got in here. For our room, or just to be maybe disgusted by, we'll see. Wait, before we get in, let me see something though. How many sp uh, spiders are in there? Nine, nine, nine. Zero. <laughs> no, then who said that? Nobody. I heard no one knows someone said it. Mm -mm. Oh, <laughs> it smells a little worse when you open it up. <laughs> Alright, what have we got here? Off to a good start. Oh god. Oh, look at this. Oh wow, she's really something. You look like a Lorna, spelt with three R's. She's precious and very angelic. But she's not for the 90s room. <laughs> oh, right here it is the first book I ever purchased in my life, which, <laughs> um, this is... Look at that, a little vampiric baby negotiation. I think I just realized why I am the way I am. Yeah, I developed with this. That makes a lot of sense. Why did my parents let me have this? We're taking it. This is where things will go that we'll take for our 90s room. This is where they get cast away. Yes, pile? No pile. Sorry about it, Lorna. Oh, a placemat of my family. Surely made by me. I know because my name is spelled incorrectly. <laughs> All right, well, I barely got that. 
Oh, little boy. Oh, my son. His eyes are all messed up because I used to have this very strange habit of dipping him in a bucket of water and then throwing him up in the sky and then he'd come down and he'd hit the pavement. And then I'd hold little funerals for him and then bury him and he'd get very dirty and then I'd do it all over again. Can you see in his eyes how many times he's been dead? I can. Of course you're coming with us. For all time's sake. Oh my god. This could be a video of its own. I, I, this is a lot. Oh my little Spider-Man notebook that I talked about earlier. <laughs> Whoa, weird. I wonder why I liked this so much as a gay closeted Mormon kid. Oh sure, come on with us. Oh my goodness. That is too much to, um, that's a separate video or that's too much. I dream I have telekinesis spelled very incorrectly. Oh, what an artist I was drawing his Tomb Raider DVD. <laughs> and his mummy returns DVD. Okay, you know what? This is actually really helpful. I am, I mean, like, it's actually working. Getting back into the vibe of, like, all the stuff I was really into. We're gonna get these things for our room. We're, oof, oof, <laughs> good food. First of all, why did I do this? Second of all, what a creep I was. Hey, childhood Garrett, what's your favorite thing to eat? Oh, I'll tell you. Well, ill, of course, and cream, sickles, and cream soda. Here's a list of all the schools that I went to. Reedy Creek Elementary. Bartlett Elementary. Shelby Oaks Elementary. Germantown Middle. Schilling Farms. Doesn't even sound like a school, so I don't remember that at all. Mesquite. Junior high, boy, oh boy. Oh, that's dark. Oh, I just remembered. Oh god. I'm gonna keep that one blocked out. Okay. There this is <laughs> that is that's too much. I need to just get what I'm gonna get and, and move on to getting the things that we actually need for this. Okay, that's too haunted. That you know, can't come with us. Oh my god, my action figures are coming with us. I got fired from there so quickly. Oh, so there's like a lot of stuff living in here. Okay, I'm gonna close this up and give those little sweeties their house back. Oh my god, and this. My favorite childhood weapon. Oh. Okay, considering there's an entire ecosystem of living creatures and insects and bugs and spiders and crickets and worms in here, I'm gonna go ahead and pack it back up and let them live their lives in peace. Until next time, big scary box. All right, well, did we find a lot of material for our 90s room in my old childhood trunk? No, not really. Did it re-inspire and unbury a lot of emotions that I would have rather kept buried inside because they were a little bit too dark? Yeah, of course. But that's fine, don't worry about it. I can rebury it. And was it worth it? Probably not. But right, back to my place to find the things that we actually are going to get for my dream room. With the help of the internet. That's right, because everything is still, you know, crazy out there. <laughs> and I can't really go maniacally running around my city like I want to gathering all my supplies. So we're going to use the internet internet to find pretty much everything that we need for our room. Which to be completely honest, even if things were normal out there, we'd have to do that anyways. Because only the internet can give us the very specific things that we need to find for this video and for this room. Also, this is a dog that I found wandering around my front yard, which is the funniest thing that's ever happened to me and also the best thing that's ever happened to me and I'm losing my mind right now. Oh my god, I love you. So she's asleep right now, so I'm gonna chill out and be quiet, which is a win-win for everyone. But when I came back from my tiny place, I saw this little gal posted up on my front porch just sitting there. Thought I was hallucinating, and I called the name on her little name necklace. The owner was absolutely devastated about what was happening. Had no idea that she had gotten out. It's okay, accidents happen. And she's frantically rushing from work right now to come pick her up, but she works kind of far away. Also, I told the owner what I did, and I asked her if I could film the dog for like the video, and she was good with it. I'm just really glad that I found this little dog before for it, like a car did, or like an e eagle, or some or, sn or a snake. But this whole situation means that I had to play emergency dog bed. So I went through my boxes, which I've never been so grateful to have so many boxes. And I found an emergency crate and made her a little mansion. Um, I didn't have like a tennis ball or a dog toy or anything, but I do have a figurine of Daniel Day-Lewis from Gangs of New York. Um, so I figured that could just keep her company outside of her little crate. He's doing a good job. He's posted, <laughs> just watching her sleep. Anyway, so now we're just kind of hanging out. The owner will be here soon enough, but I've already had such a wonderful time with her. I drew a portrait of her in my little spider with my little Spider-Man notebook. That turned out pretty good. And then I read her an X-Men comic, which honestly was more for me than it was for her because she couldn't even see the pictures. A woman in the prime of her youth, believing she's about to die but refusing to yield to the fear. And that put her right to sleep. And so obviously I played her a lullaby. <laughs> and then I ate an orange just because I was hungry. But the owner will be here any second to like actually pick her up, which is crazy. It's okay, yeah. She's texting, which I think she means she's outside, so I'm now going to take this little angel out as quietly and gently as possible. And But then when I come back, we are going to buy a bunch of really, really cool 
S-H-I-T, I don't wanna say it in front of the dog, on the internet together for our room, because I haven't forgotten what we're doing here, but obviously I had to tell you about this. I had to. <laughs> I'm going to say goodbye to this angel. <laughs> and I'll see you in a sec. Goodbye, little puppy. The dog is gone. Well, not gone. I mean, the dog is fine. The dog is just with their owner now. And surprisingly, I was not sad to see her go. First of all, just not because it wasn't the best dog in the whole world, but um, it, it's weird. Having a dog around made me uh, realize uh, that my commitment <laughs> issues. I was like, whoa, this is a lot. I can barely handle this for like 47 minutes. Um, as perfect as it was, but I started thinking like, it's gonna go, I have to go to the bathroom soon. It didn't, which is great, because I wouldn't have known what to do. Oh my God, what am I talking about? Sorry. <laughs> Let me lock it down. What we are doing here with this video, oh, I did get a, a, a recorder, by the way, which I, I can't play it, but I, I'm working on it. Well, I got it to, I wanted to play this Post Malone. It didn't work out. <sighs> Sorry, I do have coffee, so there's that. Um, as I said, we have to get everything for our 90s room, basically, but the only place that we can get the things that we need is the internet. Like, even if things were open and the world was normal, we couldn't go around to a store and be like, can I get a Game Boy Color? Uh, no, the clerk would say, you're nuts. I don't get it. I, I was trying to play Titanic. I'll try to do uh, Call Me By Your Name by Lil Nas X with the stripper pole. That moment I die when he strip when he pull, strip him, pulls down to Hades. Okay, I'll, 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 I will play that. I tried Little Nas X, I'm sorry. Right, the 90s room, yes. Right now, I'm about, I'm, I'm a, you're about to join me on the internet journey and follow me as I make every streamer and Twitter on the whole planet shake and quake in their freaking boots because look at this mode that I'm ab about to go into. Hey, look at this. Look at this, you're in my computer with me. We're gonna go on an internet journey together. This is internet mode, Garrett, welcome. Okay, so this is my little wallpaper. It's Hey Arnold's Room. Shout out to this artist right here named Logan Springer. Uh, he made this incredible illustration of Arnold's Room from the show Hey Arnold, which I'm completely obsessed with. Arnold has got the ultimate 90s room. It's like ridiculous how cool his room is. Anyways, wanted to say shout out to the artist Logan for letting me use uh, this incredible video that he made. Okay, so I have a list of items for our room. Okay, first up, we're gonna go big. We're gonna get a PlayStation. Oh, we're gonna get a PlayStation. Okay, I'm gonna go to eBay. <laughs> Wait, can you go to Amazon and get a PlayStation? That's not a thing, right? You can't just be like, original PlayStation 1. Dude, whoa, wait a minute. Did you know that you can go to Amazon and get an original PlayStation 1 in stock? I have to get it right away. Add to cart. <laughs> this is so fun. Oh my God, I'm gonna play Tomb Raider in my 90s room and eat Airhead candy. <laughs> I have a hunting knife by me. I get scared. Uh, I made this knife when I was a little kid, by the way. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry, I internet. Okay, let's look at eBay for like, uh, I want like, 90s CD player. Oh my god, a handsome green CD player. I've always wanted a green CD player. That's the sickest thing I've ever seen in my life. This is the one. We're adding it to the cart. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, uh, 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 uh I spy books. I spy books. Nine, 90s. <laughs> oh, a Where's Waldo book. Oh my god, yes. Yes, dude, the rainbow fish. I spy f a, f a funny frog. Okay, $84 for your I spy books. I don't need to spy that many things. Wait a minute, is there a spooky I spy book? I think there is. Like, haunted. Oh my God, I found a whole collection of haunted I spy books. I'm gonna freaking throw up. I'm so excited. A haunted mouse, a haunted house. <laughs> that looks so good. <laughs> most fun I've ever had doing anything. Add to cart, please, 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 <laughs> please hurry and add it to my cart. Okay, oh, you know what? What about one of those stupid magic eye books? Four dollars and seven cents, and that's a steal. Oh, this is fun. Not to drag these books or anything, but like, I would never be able to see the pictures. I can't see it. I'll try. I ordered one, you know? Okay, I got magic eye three. What more do you want? <laughs> I talked about having a fountain with Capri Sun. Oh, you know what? I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh my God, okay? If I could sip out of a Capri Sun fountain, 90s, Fountain. Let me see if this is even a thing. No! What is that? Why is that being shown to me right now? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a practically a baby. I can't see that. Okay, so I'm gonna need activities for my 90s room, obviously. And there was this game called like Marble Run. It's not a game. It's like this thing you set up with all these like intricate like colored tubes and you... Dude, right there. Why is everything so economical? This is incredible. You have people out there spending money on fast cars and what do people spend money on? Like mansions. Just for $35, you can get Marble Run and have so much fun and build your mind. Okay, let's see. I was really into Trolls dolls. <laughs> it's like, like the troll, why? Why did I just spell like that? Like, I, I can't function. Trolls dolls 90s. <laughs> God, look at them. They're so cool. They're so cool, dude. People don't understand how like good these are. Look at them. Faces. Oh God. I am the highest bidder as of now. Hopefully they make it into our room. Wait, this one's wearing a little shirt though. What is <laughs> This is 
world's best babysitter. And he's got two little babies. And he's got two little baby trolls next to him. Oh, this one's got a little punk rock costume on. <laughs> Wait, a lighter troll? Is that allowed? <laughs> is this allowed? Of course we're buying that. Oh! Oh my god, because the fire is his hair. Oh, that's so smart. Who thought of that? A little soldier. Oh no. <laughs> oh! Buzz Lightyear. Buzz has got to be in the room. Oh, his button is worn down because someone probably pressed it so many times and loved all the things that he said. Helmet is a little bit dirty though, but uh, I c I'll clean it because you can wash toys. We got him. Oh my God, I want so many goose. I want so many Goosebumps books. Oh, <gasps> that looks good. <gasps> oh, here's a collection of seven here, and I have to make sure there's just one with like a little like hamster on the front. Dad, like it's like a spooky hamster on the front, and if that's in here, we're good to go. Yeah, it is. We're good. Of course I'm buying this. Oh, AOL discs. I remember when I was like a kid, kid, um, they used to have these AOL discs. They would be at like the checkout of every cashier, like every Walmart. But like I would take stacks and I would like throw it at my brothers and act like I was Xena, the warrior princess. Um, look at this. Okay, look at this. Come on. A cheetah AOL disc. Add to cart. Yes, please. Okay, there used to be this thing called like Nickelodeon radio. Dude! This is it. God, it's so cool. Okay, hang on. Oh, here we go. Wait, no, rocket power. Who are you? Rocket power alarm clock. This is what I would have gotten. This is like the kids who like couldn't get the Nickelodeon one, but it was like, but how about the rocket? <laughs> how about the rocket power one? Sorry, I'm not dragging rocket power, I swear. If anyone's like, that's my favorite show. <laughs> okay, okay, let's just see how much it costs. $100? Oh, what's wrong with this $35 one? I found this alarm clock at the thrift store today and it works. All the sounds work and, it, and the lights light up. If it lights up, that's all I care about. We just got this incredible alarm clock for $35. Come on, add the cart. This is a steal. I have this desire to have a little fridge in the guest room that I always keep stocked with 90s stuff. We can actually get a fridge from Amazon and cover it the hell in Lisa Frank stickers. Oh, look at that. That's cute. Look at her opening it up. What have you got in there? This is cool. Okay, the fridge is important. I need to do some research and I don't want to bore you with that. So I'll find the right fridge. I'll do that later though, but we'll get a fridge. <gasps> but most importantly, and what we could do now is we can find the stickers and we're going to get, oh my God, I want so many Lisa Frank stickers that it's like a joke. Halloween unicorn Lisa Frank stickers. <laughs> Look at this vintage diva dragonfly storage box. Oh, that is so nasty. Wait a minute. The diva dragonfly has a description. Diva dragonfly is a total fashion bug. When asked how she's so styly, she'll just give a shrug. She can't help it that she's so cool. She makes all those models, <laughs> all those models, model wannabes drool. But it's not just her look that makes her so chic. She has brains and talent. Plus she's incredibly sweet. <laughs> Oh, so she's not only uh, cool and fashionable, but she's also kind. Oh, and we all gotta be a little bit more like Diva Dragonfly. Place bid? <sighs> okay. <laughs> what? I want, I, I love Diva Dragonfly to the amount of $22 for right now. Wait, there's a lot of Diva Dragonfly boxes. Oh, wow. Wait, I think there's a Diva Dragonfly jewelry box as well. I'm going all in on Diva Dragonfly. Okay, I placed my bid. Diva Dragonfly, here we, here we come. Oh, a lava lamp. <laughs> I really want a lava lamp. I had one when I was a kid and I really, really want like a green lava lamp so bad. It was so meditative and beautiful. Oh my God, I would just, I would listen to Destiny's Child and, and stare at the lava lamp. I want that again so bad. <laughs> Dude, this is incredible. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh, we can do a mummy poster. Uh, uh, okay, let's do 1999 uh, mummy poster. Poster. Why do you exist? I, I don't want motorcycles in my mummy returns lore. Dude. Get out of here. Oh my god. A six foot four 1999 mummy poster. <laughs> Why am I so lucky? It could have Brendan Fraser on it though. That would be better. <laughs> Brandon Fraser, I love you. <laughs> cereal. <laughs> there used to be this Spider-Man cereal that came out, like with the original Tobey Maguire movies. And I wonder if I could get it. Can you buy like expired cereal? Because I always wanted it as a kid. It had like holographic eyeballs. Dude, I can't believe this is real. Hang on. Hell yeah. I would spend like a hundred dollars on this. No joke. Add to cart immediately as fast as humanly possible. I can't wait to uh, 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 see you in person. Okay, while we're on food, airheads? No, you can't buy expired airheads. <laughs> but we can get a handy 
dispenser. Like, how cool would that be for future guests? Oh my god, a jelly bean machine? <laughs> what a tangerine jelly beans in it? That's what we're gonna do. It's one of these bids. I'll place a $12 bid on it for now. We'll see what happens. I've been outbid by someone? How? No, I've, I, this is no. You know what? I'm, I'm being scammed. There's some robot on the under, other end of this trying to steal my money. I'm learning now that this is more just like, join me on my uh, seeing a bunch of things and I'll uh, buy the right ones off camera so I'm not just sitting here like, wait a minute, do you have to put quarters in it or not? But how fun would that be to have a little quarter machine? <laughs> I just make like passive income from like my nieces and nephews visiting. <laughs> Okay, this is a big one. I, I really want the right television. I want like a big 90s television, like a VHS player built in. This is so good. These are not even that crazy. I'm actually really surprised to see how much really, really, really cool uh, vintage tech is available for like not crazy prices. I really like this one. Between now and putting the room together, I'll decide to get a bigger one. But for now, I think I'm going to do this one. I'm gonna go on a 90s VHS freaking spree. Ah, look at this, the mask VHS. Yes, 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 add to cart, add to cart. <laughs> <laughs> I used to watch this movie on a loop all the time. I've seen that movie over probably 50 times. The Little Mermaid VHS. Are these gonna be like one of those things? It's like $800, because it's like super rare or something. 99 cents, we can work with that. Who would do that? Who would pay $10,000 for that? Band scene, all right. With your weird like YouTube <laughs> clickbait title, but an eBay post. Oh, yikes. This is getting weird. I'm getting out of here. Did, did, they, did they make a Matrix VHS? If that's a thing, I'll, 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 I'll throw the computer. <laughs> oh God, it's got a holographic cover. I, this is, I can't wait. I can't wait to be in my room. $1.99, like I know they say money can't buy happiness, but a holographic Matrix VHS, it can buy a little bit of happiness. I had these movies as a kid, but on DVD, but there's something so cool about the idea of having that. Having them on VHS, they make a Tomb Raider VHS as well? When was the last VHS made? I'm gonna Google that. 2006. What was it though? A history of violence. All right, well the VHS industry will be alive and well in my 90s room, that's for sure. <laughs> oh wait, did we ever find our Lisa Frank stickers? <gasps> wait, Lisa Frank, I think she follows me on Instagram. I'll ask her personally for Lisa Frank things from my 90s room. Whoa. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I, I'm, 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 I'm overloaded. I'm overloaded. I, 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 this is. <laughs> well, oh boy, would you look at that? The sun is up because I was doing that uh, all night. <laughs> what you just saw, the internet portion, which by the way, I hope you enjoyed the internet uh, sort of explorative nature of the video. I had a lot of fun with that. And if you like more of that vibe, I would like to give you more of that. So let me know if you enjoyed exploring the internet with me. But yeah, I will say I shot that portion at nighttime and now it is daytime because I went on a long time after I cut the cameras off and I got so many more things for the room that were not on camera that are like weirdly more exciting than I think anything that I showed. So. <laughs> But I'm oddly glad because it kind of contributes to the, uh, the the volume two of it all because this is, as I'm sure you assumed, you've been here long enough. I'm not, believe me, this video would be like an hour and 20 minutes <laughs> if I went on to actually do the redesign and stuff. So there is going to be a part two to this video where we're going to actually design and sort of build the room. This was creating the room and gathering everything we need for it. I will see you in part two and we have all of our actual stuff and we will be transforming this heartbreakingly <laughs> dra drab looking room into a absolute nostalgic 90s playground of enjoyment and love and so much fun and I cannot wait to do that. <laughs> so that'll be a lot of fun and that's coming in April. I have to wait for the stuff to get here obviously, but it is coming in April. Trust. I know sometimes my upload schedule can be a little <laughs> not, not, not great, but I'm trying to change that. I'm, I've been busy. I got the Sweet Boys podcast and I'm trying to bring this channel uh, to a stronger sense of I uh, identity. I've got my new place. Uh, you saw uh, uh, my office there for the first time, which I have barely even seen my office. So that's exciting. Uh, I'm going to use that to be creating a lot more things. So very excited about this channel in general. Like I said, y'all have been here long enough. I'm going to uh, let you continue on with your days, or your nights, or whatever the heck you're doing. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for going on this journey with me. I hope everyone is doing well out there. I know the world is not there, but we're getting kind of close to there in terms of normalization. So I hope you've been well and are, are, are doing better all the time. I know I'm trying my hardest. Again, thank you so much for watching. If you want to catch me between uploads at any point, you could always catch me on everything. I'm this on everything. Garrett underscore Watts on every social media, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, whatever you want. I'm always tweeting up a storm. I love responding to people so much. Uh, so hit me up anytime. <laughs> Huge thank you to Omaze for sponsoring this video. Again, omaze.com slash Garrett if you want to maybe win 
in a freaking tiny house, which is incredible. If you want to comment, I would love that because I love responding to comments a lot. And something I would love to hear from you in the comments is what is a nostalgic item from your childhood that you loved the most? For me, it was actually kind of in this video. It was like a Buzz Lightyear um, figurine that I got at Disney when I was like a little kid, like five, six years old or something. And uh, it meant the world to me. So I'm excited to see him again. <laughs> but what was an item from your past that you just remember being like home for you? You know, like your comfort item. Some kids had a blanket. I had that Buzz Lightyear figure. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I just remembered Chris Evans is playing Buzz Lightyear in the new- Ah! Okay, sorry. I've been rambling too much this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a good uh, whatever you're doing. I'll see you next time in part two and my- and be good. Be good. <laughs> in gen- be in, in, in general, be good. Thanks so much for watching, goodbye. I'm gonna go find a breakfast burrito because technically it is the morning, I guess, even though I haven't slept in a long time. Later!